Hello there folks, I'm here in DC and uh, just across the line from Maryland, right near the border. And uh, this is a eucalyptus I don't think I've ever seen before. I was actually driving through this neighborhood looking for another eucalyptus. This is the neighborhood right near those, those two window ponds I made videos on. And um, the uh, the other eucalyptus that I made, the Cinerea, which is actually looking pretty good. But I got lots of eucalyptus videos in here. Uh, quite a few that I'm, that I'm just learning about. This is a good size one too, probably. I got like 20 feet or so up to that nearly up to the wire unfortunately it's growing right in the way of the telephone pole but um it's interesting this is it's not like cinerea certainly more uh, oval shaped leaves but very discolored uh, i hate to bring you guys more eucalyptus carnage here thankfully the cinerea which surprisingly is, is actually doing the best of any of the ones i've seen so far um this one i don't know what species this is it looks a little bit like neglecta but i'm i'd be um surprised to see neglecta looking this fried um maybe uh parvula or I, I i'm again i'm not the best eucalyptus id a lot of you guys are really good with that so if you guys can let me know um i'm not sure uh but you can see the shape of these leaves um and sort of like reddish stems but very discolored looks like this is probably going to defoliate i'm hoping it'll recover from the base uh again it's a good sized tree probably not very old because they grow so insanely quickly mine grew like you know, probably like seven feet or something in a year, um, or close to it. But as you can see, a good-sized eucalyptus tree. Um, no small tree by any means. And uh, sad to see it looking a bit, uh, looking like this. But uh, I'm hoping it'll recover again. It'll be interesting to see how a lot of these do. Mine, unfortunately, Cinerea, first winter, went in the ground, did not recover. But the other Cinerea, right nearby, is looking really good. And uh, just Don Redwoods everywhere here. Look at that. You can see a classic silhouette there, even when all the leaves are uh, gone. They're deciduous uh, conifers. Uh, one of the few deciduous conifers. This tree, look at this. Completely chopped off on the top there. I don't know what's going on there, but it's interesting. <laughs> but uh, it's, it's interesting. I mean, there's some palms in the neighborhood. There's quite a few eucalyptus. Uh, I'm actually kind of surprised to see just how many there are. Um, I absolutely love it. I'm a huge eucalyptus uh, lover, as, as you guys know. And that makes me sad to see these bad freezes. Um, making eucalyptus look like this, but obviously we've got to be realistic about our climate here. Um, there's certain species that do really well here. There's certain species that don't do well and certain species that are marginal. Looks like this is one of the more marginal species probably. Um, this looks a lot, a, lot, a lot like the one I made a video of in front of that apartment building. If you guys know the ID classic, sort of got that wispy look on top, but a good sized tree, no doubt. Um, but sadly not looking its best. Hopefully it'll recover. I'll keep you guys posted, of course. Stay tuned and take care folks. Eucalyptus species here in Washington, DC. Take care.